Hey everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. Today you're finally going to get to see my golden beach. Now this is part of a collaboration with Claire from Claire's Crafty Corner. Cannot wait to see what she's created. So pop over there and show her some love. If you've not seen her channel before, go over, say hello from myself. If you're watching this in Premiere, which is a great way for you to chat with us while watching us create, maybe ask some questions, just get to know us. Uh, so you'll be seeing mine and then we're going to pop over to Claire's. Ooh, that's a lot of information. Anyway, our collaboration has a theme of sunset stroke summer vibes. Obviously, beach stroke ocean. Hopefully, I've not messed up this time, Claire. <laughs> and the only rules are, other than the theme, is to select some colour cottage pigments um, and anything else go with what you will and uh, so i've selected what did i select four colors for my ocean and two for my sand so watch and all will be revealed anyway i hope you enjoy it this is not realism the perspectives are all wrong i know that <laughs> but i wanted to have some fun i wanted to add lots of sparkles and believe me there is sparkle all over my creative space that i'm going to be picking up for absolutely ages but i had fun and uh, kind of represents a kind of geo beach. But anyway, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. I pop over to my Facebook group, join it if you want to showcase your art. That helps inspire me. Hopefully, I'll continue to inspire you. And also, uh, pop over to my Etsy stores. There may be some treasures there that you want to purchase. But other than that, I hope you enjoy. I'm not going to show you at the beginning. It's all going to be revealed as it goes through uh yeah let me know your thoughts claire it's been amazing to collaborate with you again and here are too many more collaborations with other artists out there anyway much love there we go <laughs> and yeah i'll see you on the other end of this bye bye oh i've got to go out quite far for you to see this this is a big mdf board uh it's just some oddments that I get from the hardware store i have prime painted it and primed it primed underneath a little bit taped it and made sure it's level so this is going to be the golden beach and this is part of the collaboration that's going on with the most amazing claire's crafty corner and i'm going to do i think a right golden beach <laughs> hard for me to explain what I mean by that but what I envisage doing to start with is I've got this golden coarse molding paste and I'm going to sculpture or sculpt my sand area I'm going to try and have gradient this time and I want that coarse feeling and normally I use real sand within resin it gives nice detail but I think I just want to explore something different the idea being depending on how long it takes to uh, dry I'm gonna walk a mini flip-flop through them and try and leave footprints in the sand <laughs> uh, none of this painting is gonna be proportionally correct it's not gonna be realism it's gonna be fun and I just I'm gonna stick my own shells on there that I've created they're all different sizes and massive compared to these flip-flops but I don't care I just want it to be fun and um, yeah I can't, I can't say anymore other than what I envisage then doing is coming over and painting on uh, some of the mica powder from the Colour Cottage Pigment because part of our uh, collaboration is Summer Stroke Sunset. I cannot wait to see what the imaginative Claire's come up with. Uh, I best check with her the scope because last time we did a collaboration, <laughs> mm, I bent the rules a bit. Anyway, I'm Sharon. I'm digressing. Let's get on with this coarse moulding paste and if you've used this before I'd love 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 to know what you've used it for and what you thought about it.
Okay, let's bring you in and show you what has occurred. Obviously, I have added my little starfish. She's one of the white ones from Amazon, but I painted him with the art as a gold and sprinkled some of the glitter on, so he's going to go in. Not just sure where I'm going to place him. Uh, loving all this. I've got a few more of my created shells to pop around, but I need to wait until I apply the resin. So what's going through my mind at the minute it is... The colour me, uh, the colour cottage pigments has been mixed in with my paste. That's all good. But then I put some on top, and I really like that. So I'm going to put some resin on here, and I'm going to see how it responds because it could, in theory, come out here and and make all my resin go gold. I want it really to be clear. So I'm contemplating a couple of things. I'm only going to be focusing on the section between the bronze and here. If it goes onto the light blue, not too face, but I basically want to do this part first. And then I'll come back and do my coating this way. The reason being, I want to secure all this in space, in place. I want to add my additional shells. And I want to then come in and add my gold rocks that you saw me putting it out. Just to see how many I need. And they're already in a tub. And then when I come in with my water, with my sunset colours. Which hence why I've got all that glitter there. That will then come and lap over the original resin that I've put. Um, I'll keep all that transparent, a little bit of foam, and then just the beautiful colours. That's what I'm imagining, but I'm not too sure if I need to paint it on with a brush or whether I just need to pour it and just uh, bring it out. So it's I'm trialling it as I go. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving the texture. I love this part, and I do love the composition. Not 100% sure if I'm going to keep this area. I went glitter mad last night, but... It's all on there and it's secured. So the reason I paint with acrylic is it helps me map out where my colours are going to be. But then when I put the glitter on top, it sticks to it. So it acts like a glue. And then I dusted off all the loose bits. Some parts will still come up, but you'll still see the other colours underneath. Now, in theory, you might not see much of this glitter underneath. But the idea being when I add my pigments, I'm going to add them quite um, see-through. So that hopefully parts of that will come through. To what's on top but i've got a feeling the only thing i know is i really enjoyed this part here and i want to keep that one bling and, and true and happy and with this part here not too sure i even completed having a gold ocean but it might be a bit too gold um but <laughs> we shall see like i said none of this is proportionally correct i know that people i don't need feedback on that but this is about fun happiness and things that just catch your attention and Everybody needs a bit of glitter. Anyway, I will fast forward this. You'll see me now applying my resin just to this area and cure. And then I'll come back and work on the ocean. All right. Wish me luck. Okay. I'm devastated because I went to stop my camera from recording only to find out it glitched out on me. So you never saw what I've just worked on. So I'll do my best to show you. Basically, resin has only been poured up to this area. I poured it up to that area because I'd got a, enough mixed up and I thought I'd do it. So I applied my resin slowly here and then I came in with my silicone hairdresser brush and just mopped it because I'm mindful I didn't want a thick area. I wanted this texture to remain the same. So I've added that slowly around my edges. I added my extra starfish and um, there. And also I've dotted these little pearls around, which are kind of cool. And I've added more of my shells. And then I've come in and put the gold stones, which are for just for you stones. Oh, oops, just knocked over my other ones, which is all around the edge here. And before you know it, I'm starting to create a geo beach scene, which is not what I'm intending to do. So I added my resin in this area. Didn't need much torching. I've added some pearls to my um, flip-flops. I've added a tiny little bit more of the gypsy shine here because you might not be able to see here. Because I painted some on to the acrylic and now floated some on top, it's giving you that depth. So I have added that all the way here. So you've got the gold stone and you've got the uh, gypsy shrine body glitter added. And then down here are rhinestones, so these. 
a, a, a bronze rhinestone. So I edged the ed, edge of where my dark sand in the water will be all around, hence creating this geode without being aware of what I'm doing. Now, the interesting thing on these water, because they're heavy, they fall with their point to the bottom. So painstakingly, I had to go through with my little brush, uh, should I say stick, and flip them so they are the right way around. Um, which didn't mind doing because I think it's worth it because I think it'll add a lot of value when the uh, light is on it, you'll get a better reflection. And then I came through and I did my blue crystals all around here. I wasn't going to do that originally, but I'm going with the geode style. <laughs> I've added my turtle and a tiny little bit of the blue where it ends. Now I've got a nice base here, so I didn't really add anything else. But you are going to get to see me now how I come back tomorrow once this is dried and bring my ocean sunset colours over. And I envisage here there not to be much colour, maybe a little bit of white foam around the edge. So I will bring some more clear resin over here. The glitter that was applied underneath is sparkling through those crystals and even bits of the red are sort of coming through. So this is going to be a very blinged up piece.